بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آج ہم دوبارہ ریسرچ میتھڈالوجی اور ریسرچ فلسفی کے حوالے سے کچھ بہت زیادہ بنیادی باتیں کرنا چاہتے ہیں جب ہم ان شاء اللہ ونس وی انڈرسٹینڈ دیز ٹرمینالوجیز دے ول ہیلپ اس ان ڈیزائننگ اور ریسرچ اینڈ ایون دی کنڈکشن آف دا ریسرچ ول بی این ایزی انٹرپرائز پلیز سو لک ایٹ دس وائٹ بورڈ دا ورڈ وچ آئی ہیو ریٹن اوور ہیئر دس از آنٹالوجی If you analyze this terminology, ontology, it is a Greek word. Ont or ont usually means being, a thing, a group of people, hills, whatever that may be. But in philosophy, ontology In ontology, the onto is a reference to ob- objects, to human society as well, okay? And in the same way, logi or logos, this is the science of how we find the objects, the social groups, human beings around us. How do we perceive them? This is exactly the question of ontology that how do we know the reality of things that we have around ourselves. So for that purpose, I will not take your so much time, but just coming to a point that in the research with ontology, we must be well aware of this concept of ontology and especially especially its three variants for example an ontology may be of the kind in which there is only a single truth a single truth and this single truth means singularity of the reality is to be kept in mind and the whole people will think about that phenomena or that process is a singular truth reality in the same way ontologically speaking we may find that the truths may be many there may be many truths section a is truth Section B is truth. Different social groups are realities, are truths. So there are more than one single truth. As the first point of it was suggesting that there should be a single reality or a single truth. The second connotation is that the truths may be many. And the third connotation of ontological discourse is that the truth may be a single one or may be more than one. You got it? Just keep these things in your mind and inshallah ta'ala, you will very comfortably understand the whole basics of research methodology or philosophy of research. Now, let's come to the terminology that is epistemology. Generally speaking, epistemology is defined as that it is the science of knowing. It is the science of knowing simply because that epistemi, this was referred to knowledge. And again, logi or logos, for example, science of knowledge. How do we know? What we do know? What is the nature of our knowing? Where from we, where from what we know 
has come to us at this moment all such such sorts of questions are addressed in philosophy under this heading epistemology epistemology again if you look at this terminology specifically in research literature you will see that a knowledge by knowledge i mean knowing that may be measurable knowledge of a situation for example i can very comfortably measure the number of students who may take class in government post graduate college peshawar or i may know well that how many students will take class in qaida zam university islamabad so this is important to be noted that if a situation is measurable meaning that we can measure their strength their their, their, their frequencies their, 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 their levels for example all these types of things can be known as measurable knowledge this is a very good knowledge because it has given us the references in our daily life which is very very natural second important point of knowledge or epistemology that is it is sometimes interpretive by this we mean that we can see a society or a social group but we cannot measure what they have in their minds so for that purpose we can just interpret their point of views for example if there is a group of persons whom we want to know their that what and how they think with relation to the political system of pakistan for that purpose we we may take interviews from them we may judge their feelings through personal interviews or we may interpret and get knowledge out of them through various sources so this is also important and is very oftenly used in Uh, social sciences and psychological sciences etc the third important uh, knowledge the rather it is the type of knowledge which is testable by testable knowledge we mean that we can give a proper we can take a proper test out of that suppose there are why pakistani people are healthily not good or not fit or why some people are anemic we can test by testing we mean that this kind of knowledge it is testable yani it can be put to test and the results can be understood so this is the third stream of epistemology beyond them also ontological and epistemological discourses are rich in very serious questions related to philosophy related to modern sciences related to even theological sciences but for your understanding at the basic level i will suggest you to go through all these things ontology and epistemology and once you go through them once you understand them then automatically a research paradigm will be formed with you you will stick to a specific research paradigm or you will have a specific philosophy of research secondly if let me apply this suppose there is one reality as we have mentioned in this part single one reality plus that reality or that truthfulness that is measurable we can calculate it we can measure it so this will give way to positivistic paradigm jisko hum aasan angrezi mein sorry urdu mein science kehte hain 
in this will lead to positivistic approach or paradigm the paradigm formed under such sort of research activity will be known as primarily positivistic in nature in the same way if there are many realities but those realities we can explain them only by interpretation only by interpretation and you know that interpretation was part of epistemology knowledge so this will give way to constructivism the paradigm of constructivism simply because here we used a certain measures for interpretation because if there is an interview of a group of people so we can judge or we can find our results conclusion from measuring the intensity of their speaking of words for example this is psychological example in the same way if a society is sitting for suppose if a society is sitting for casting their votes at that time we can interpret that how they behave and in what way they behave so this is also very much important for social sciences that we usually stick to interpretivistic approach and this will give way to constructivism constructivism paradigm this is also an important philosophy of research and in social sciences usually political science psychology and even in sociology such sorts of paradigms are used for the for conducting a proper research third important point is if there is one reality or if there are many reality but if those realities or those situations can be tested and can be measured at the same time so this gives us a very good outcome in the form of research and this sort of paradigm is known as pragmatistic paradigm dear sami इन दो तीन बातों को मद्देनजर रखते हुए आप लोग अगर सोशल साइंसेस में या नेशनल साइंसेस में रिसर्च करते हैं तो सबसे पहले बिफोर टेकिंग स्टार्ट ऑन योर रिसर्च एंटरप्राइज यू मस्ट डिफाइन दैट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिसर्च पैराडाइम आई विल बी यूजिंग एंड ऑल दिस डिपेंड्स on the available resources and available factors that whether my research activity can be measured can it be tested so in lost i will once again advise you to have a look on this and if there are any problems i am waiting for your precious feedback प्लीज इस चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा थैंक यू अस्सलाम वालेकुम असल